In my life, I have experienced many things. One of the things I've experienced is meeting people. Some of these people end up confiding in me about their past and their troubles, and about their many relationships. Over time, you start to see a pattern. Sometimes there are even overlap between partners and people. Some people keep multiple partners at the same time or are not honest with their new partners about their, about their side interests. I myself have experienced drama and disappointment and divorce in my life. I grew up without anybody to ask questions to. No brothers, no sisters, I was the oldest among the second batch of cousins. So it basically was trial and error for me. I was an inexperienced person who was very honest with my first partner. I told her the truth and in return I thought that she would do the same. However, that was not the case. She had been around a few times already and had kids and years later I come to find out she was even married. I believe she's even still married even to this day. However, she is still living the same lifestyle as she lived when I knew her. Another partner I had was a farm girl. She was very, very close with her parents. However, she did not share the same dream with me. She wanted to be a housewife and have kids and stay home. She was an okay person. Possibly a bit of a stalker, but in time she found somebody better and her focus shifted away from me. My final partner was the one who did me in. All the signs were there right from the beginning, but I could not see them. Everything from the way she was raised, to the example set by her role models, to the friends she would hang around with. The young and free lifestyle that she wanted to live, and continues to live to this day. My next partner was a nice lady who got caught up in the perfect storm of divorce and financial stress and emotional baggage. She was roughly five years older, had a son who was on the verge of being 18 and moving out. Her and I come from different backgrounds, different beliefs. We've lived totally separate lives. She has a good job that pays well, where I've always struggled through, well, my work world, uh, work career, stuff like that. I tried to replace my ex with this lady. However, again, you can't replace somebody with another person and expect them to be the same. There was pressure going on from her side of the family for me to join their religion and I really didn't want to I'm not really one for churches especially after experiencing the things that I have experienced things were going good for probably 14 16 months or so I don't even think we had anything major of a fight fight couple of disagreements, a couple of little things, but nothing major. We both had our own places, our own apartments. She had her own house and I had my, uh, my house kind of a thing. There was always the on the back burner of who was going to move in with who kind of a thing, but it was never forced. Uh, 
it was too early in our relationship to start picking out china patterns and deciding uh, whose place we're gonna shack up at well through one thing leads to another and i bump into my ex and all those emotions come back that i was feeling that i was hiding that i hadn't dealt with she fed me some kind of line whether it was true or not about a complicated surgery that she had and you know without dealing with those emotions they made they flooded on back and I made a choice how things turned out obviously it was the wrong choice now I'm not saying me and this nice lady would have worked out and been well a couple for the rest of our lives but if I had a chance to do it again I would definitely be be willing or able to let this nice lady down a little more easier than the way I ended it since essentially what was my divorce and now that I'm single I have healed emotionally I've put myself back out there once again however I've met quite a few interesting women most of the women I met never went any farther than coffee or a movie. Most of them were beyond my idea of a partner. Some were divorced, which is understandable. Some even have kids, which again is understandable. Some had many partners from being active since they were young. One that sticks in my mind is a woman who, on our first movie meeting, brought a suitcase to spend the night. She wanted more than dinner and a movie, more than I felt comfortable to give. She went on to have many partners of all kinds and ages. I'm sure I would be in there for a few things. I am no longer the young gullible guy that I once was. I have my idea what a true relationship is. I no longer put up with lies or deception. I no longer completely trust a stranger until they are proven trustworthy. I have built a protective wall to keep me safe from experiencing the kind of hurt that I have experienced in the past. I know in a relationship you need to be honest. I know in a relationship you need to be vulnerable and to speak your feelings. I have done these things in the past, but when I do, that's when I get hurt. I don't fit in with the modern way of living and the free attitude of the dating world. It takes me a while to get over emotional hurt. Sometimes I try to replace one person for another and that can't be done. So that would be my contribution to, um, to the whole platform. I'm not sure how you would monitor the forum for truths and weed out the facts versus fiction. What was reality and what would be the words of a jealous or spiteful ex? Would a person conduct interviews with the affected parties to verify things? I've seen drama on social media, especially when things go unchecked. Comment monitoring would be mandatory. I know this is a fictional thing. I know it needs to have a catchy name, but could you call it the X book? Kind of like a book of X's where um, you could potentially go look up your X to see what other partners are there say, whether they are um, crazy, you know, have issues with their family, they're hooked to their parents, um, potential past 
criminal record, drug problems that they may not be telling you about. People have a way of uh, hiding things of their past from their new partners. I don't know if this thing is a real thing out there already, but if it's not and uh, somebody invents it, well, I thought of it first. Leave your comments below and as always, thanks for watching.